Dave's penis is a dick. <laughs> but so is Dave. <laughs> so they're friends with us on Paul.com. There. And that's our sequel injection introduction music so Allison take it away with a live demonstration of sequel injection yes so I have here a highly penetrable web app <laughs> <laughs> the password here is password in case you were wondering <sighs> oh, okay damn that, vulnerable web app that's too much there so says your mother <laughs> <laughs> sorry uh, all right so uh, first of all I'm going to lower the security here and yes, uh, which is done in a cookie. Exactly. Which, yeah. the, which the user can the set, which I think is awesome, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. So let me get this straight. You've got to lower the security of, an app, of a live CD called Damn Vulnerable Distribution. That's right, because it's not low. How enough. low do you have to go here? Um, the setting is low. Setting is low. It's actually oh, called yeah. low. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's just like every low. other website out there. That's got right. it. Please proceed. Exactly. Low is the default. So uh, we've got here the SQL injection page, and I prepared... Uh, some SQL injections and uh, clicking and dragging is not very easy on this thing. No, it, it, it takes some getting used to. Alright, that that works. Alright, so we've got here the apostrophe or A equals A. So A, it Excuse happens me. equals A. So it's <sighs> always going to be true. So if we uh, actually put this in the query, oh, come on. Oh, Command C. It's Command. Command. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then Command B. All right. I see. So apostrophe or A equals A. Uh, you're SQL injecting with a command uh, with a statement that's always going to evaluate to true. And if you do that, it will return every single item in the database. So we can see here all the users on the damn vulnerable web app application. So. Uh, You've got here, uh, this is actually the original query that's being used, so you can see what it looks like. And you can see here the ID is not filtered whatsoever, so this statement is vulnerable. Uh, and then this is what the statement looks like after you insert the SQL injection. So you can see here, it's going to return everything, basically. So let's scroll down a little bit. All right, so uh, in terms of getting the uh, syntax correct, oh. This is very difficult. Okay. In terms of getting the syntax correct, uh, I did mention something along the lines of uh, getting the uh, number of columns correct, uh, having them match up. I'm trying to get Dave's attention. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, carry on, carry on. Okay. Uh, so you need to have the columns matching up here, and if you don't have them match up, oh, oops, <clears> I got the wrong one. Where is it? So this is your mother. Sorry. Can't help us. Uh, it's alright. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Alright, so here's the query where the columns don't match up. Now, uh, the original query uses two columns, and this SQL injection only piggybacks a query that contains one column. And since they don't match up, my SQL is going to barf, and it's going to just say, you know, I'm not going to do it for you. So uh, this is why you need to get the syntax correct. So uh, once you've established a proper syntax, then you can start mapping out the database. And uh, so this query here, uh, what this does is it collects all the names of the schemas on uh, MySQL. So it queries the, uh, all the schema names from information schema. And uh, you can see here the uh, there's a schema named information <laughs> schema, and there's also one named DBWA and one named MySQL. <laughs> Who's dying? Is Paul. everyone okay? <clears throat> oh, Paul, Paul is, uh, took a sip of some single malt scotch, and I think he needs to put his wig on. I think he needs to take his skirt off. <laughs> well, crap. If that keeps up, I guess we'll have to say welcome to another edition of Larry.com, because he's next in line. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's good. It went down the wrong way. It's good, though. That's even better so, in the lungs. Paul, isn't it? <laughs> remember, gets into you don't snort that way. scotch. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Carry on. I, I, oh, sorry. I, I know you like to inhale your drinks, but that's yeah, ridiculous. Sorry. 
All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, in this query here, we're uh, pulling the names of the tables from the DBWA schema. So this is uh, another part of mapping out the database, uh, which you need to do in order to uh, find out what's here. So you've got the DBWA schema. It's got the guest book table and the users table. And of course, we're a little bit more interested in the users table, of course. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this query here, <coughs> which is selecting all the column names from the users table. Uh, of course, using information schema to uh, index all this. Uh, so the column names in the users table is a uh, user ID, first name, last name, user, password, avatar. Uh, so once, uh, now we've basically mapped out the database successfully. So now that we have all the names of the resources that we want, uh, we're just going to use this query to uh, pull what we want. So we're going to say union select password as first name, user as last name from users. So we're basically going to get a list of all the usernames and passwords. So we see here. Uh, all right, so username Leet has a password of this MD5 sum looking thing. So uh, I don't suppose you have like a password cracker on here, do you? <coughs> um, what kind of password cracker? Well, we can just use Google. I'll just open up a new tab here. <laughs> How's that scotch? I like that. <laughs> what kind of password cracker? I'll just use Google. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's I'm that's the quote of this show right there. I yeah. mean, I'm going to use done. Google Good. password cracker. And uh, I'm just going to paste this MD5 hash into Google, and we'll see what MD5 hacker has to say. No. I'm not going to donate to you. Let's see what MD5 decrypt has to say. Don't say I still have malware, because you're still on my laptop. <laughs> All right, are you vulnerable to a flashback? <coughs> Lord, I hope not. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, apparently this MD5 hash has a value, a plain text value of Charlie. So uh, the username <coughs> Lee should have a password of Charlie. So let's just test that out. So uh, username Lee, C-H-A-R-L-E-Y. And it works. Cool. So we've just... Uh, dumped the user's database and stolen the credentials of one of the users, which is pretty nifty. Yay. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to go into a little bit more uh, reading the file system and escalating missions and stuff. Well, we're so, running out near the end because we're, we're starting to run a little short. How many minutes do I have? Uh, like five minutes. How's that sound? I'll go really fast. Okay, awesome. All right, so this first one here, we're oh, pulling nice. the Etsy password file. Uh, so we can see here the load file command is being used. And I'm just going to paste the whole thing in there. And we've got the Etsy password file. Hooray. Now, uh, there's a few interesting things that you can do with it. Uh, <coughs> let's see. I'm going to pick this one. Good enough. Okay, so uh, you can see here there's like all this hex garbage. Uh, all this actually says is Etsy password. This is the hex equivalent of trying to pull the Etsy password file. And it will return the same thing. See here, you can see this is slightly different. Uh, it's got the hex garbage in there. But the result is the same. You've got the Etsy password file. And it can be useful if you are, for example, trying to uh, bypass the uh, MySQL real escape string function. So if I switch the DVWA security to medium, what this does is it basically uh, sanitizes the input a little bit using MySQL real escape string. However, it doesn't do it correctly because uh, what it does is it will not surround the parameter in quotes. It's one of those edge cases where you're not actually protected, but you think you are. So this query, uh, well, you see here, uh, apostrophe or one equals one. This is not going to work because it contains apostrophes. It's going to be, uh, it's not going to work. <coughs> However, if you put in this, uh, this query with uh, no apostrophes that just hex encodes all the actual query, uh, it's going to work. It's going to pull the Etsy password file despite the fact that we're using MySQL real escape string to filter the input. Now, if you, uh, Dan Vulnerable Web App is open source. You can download it yourself and you can see what's going on. Um, but the medium security level for SQL injection, uh, 
filters the input a little bit, but not properly. The author of Damn Vulnerable Web App, his name? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Uh, I, I, I oh, know it famous. if you give me two minutes. And he's I famous. <laughs> Ryan Dewhurst. Ryan Dewhurst. Cool. So just props to Ryan because that's uh, an awesome thing that he uh, It's an awesome made application. Very useful <clears throat> for testing lab stuff. Uh, all right, so in this example here, we're pulling out the config file, which uh, it contains all sorts of interesting information, such as passwords. So I'm just going to paste this in here. Uh, all right, so we've got this output here. We don't see anything, right? Uh, oh, gosh, how do you right-click on this thing? There's only control, one button. Control, yeah. <laughs> Yay, it's a Mac. Control, uh, so the actual control key and then click. Okay. Yeah. I can count a potato. <laughs> 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 All right, clearly I need more scotch. All right, right. Yeah, I don't have any more. No, no, this. I, I need to finish <clears> this. Thank you. In this in this studio, in the other studio, I have multiple bottles. Yes, yeah. we good. can send the intern to get more. So, yeah, I, so. no, no, because then the, the police will taser him again. So. Don't don't tase me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for the stories of a discussion, we'll bring out some more scotch. Okay, sorry, Allison, carry on. All right. Uh, well, now that we have successfully right clicked. <laughs> and viewed source. <laughs> now we can see the actual source of the page. Now it turns out that the config file has some code in it that causes it to look commented out in uh, in HTML. So you won't actually see it if you look in the web browser until you view the source. So now you see here, uh, you've got the uh, the server name, the database name, user, and password uh, for damn vulnerable web app. So uh, now we've just successfully stolen the database password. And let's see what else. Oh, uh, also you can hex encode the data that you're trying to exfiltrate. So we've got here, we've got the same uh, command trying to pull out the config file. But in this case, we've got this hex command here that's going to uh, hex encode it. So perhaps if you've got some kind of uh, IDS looking for data exfiltration, then uh, you can just do this and just kind of try to keep it on the down low. So this is the hex equivalent for uh, the same file. And uh, I'm not going to translate it back, so you're just going to have to take my word for it. Word taken. <laughs> we, tr we trust you. You have my laptop. I have to trust you. This is wow. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> All right. So uh, here's a command. Uh, this is going to take the uh, SQL injection output and put it into a file called stuff.txt. Now, uh, what this does is this is going to select the username and password for all the users. It's basically going to dump the whole users table. So I'm just going to put that command in there and enter. Now we don't see any output here. However, if we navigate over to stuff.txt, I can do this. New tab, right? Okay. So slash stuff.txt. All right, we've got the output of the SQL injection there. You've got the entire users table dumped out, just like that. Very neat, very clean. You don't have to uh, arm wrestle with any PHP application to get it formatted properly. Uh, so here, the uh, last query we've got here, uh, inserting executable PHP code into a file. Now, this one's the most interesting and uh, Unfortunately, I'm not putting a back door in here. I'm just putting a little demonstration thing. I just inserted some contents into stuff.php. So I'm going to navigate over there, and the act of navigating to this page will cause Apache to run it. Yay! So, yes, so I'm just running a little harmless PHP info function, which returns all of the stats of what I'm running, which is probably horribly outdated and very vulnerable now. So uh, you can use this uh, information to further exploit the host, or you can just upload it back there. Yep, so that's that. <clears throat> nice. Thank you very much, Allison. I get my laptop back, which she made fun of. It's full of <laughs> <viruses> now. <laughs> Asked me if I had malware on it. I browsed all kinds of websites. Oh, and I should explain what that URL is. That <clears throat> yeah. That URL. Yeah, what is yeah. that? Uh, Hopefully yeah. that's actually your site. Well, it's my site now, but it used to be like this gigantic uh, CNC server that was on all the blacklists. So if you visited this URL at work, 
you've triggered about half a dozen blacklist events and people might be visiting your desks now. There's not really any content on there. I just wanted to trick people into visiting. Thanks. That's all. Yes, Thank you very and, much, Allison. And, and Allison, you should go read the Apache logs or the Nginx logs. Oh, we're server. recording it. Um, <clears throat> there, may be, there may or may not be messages. There. John, <laughs> John, can you take yeah. us out with some music? This is the last time, I promise. Last time? You keep on asking me to do this. Know, um, every time it's the last time. All right. Um, I'm going to violate a policy that I'm sure we have at Paul.com. So. No, Wait, no, we have policies? No Justin Bieber. What? No Justin, no Justin Bieber. Bieber? I was going to say, no stairway to heaven. No stairway to heaven. And we'll be back. God. We just had visions of like you saw them the in concert, kids, didn't you? All of the kids, how many at times? High, all the kids in high school pouring off the bleachers at high school dances, <laughs> saying they're playing our song when this came on. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs>